This guide gives you a tip on what to do if you end up with a blank screen or a black screen in Windows 10. Now, in this example, I've still got my mouse available um, and uh, I must state that this fix might not work in all occasions, but it has worked for me in a couple of occasions recently. So what you need to do is just leave it for a few moments, uh, a few minutes if you can, just to make sure the desktop doesn't appear. Okay, if after two or three minutes the desktop still hasn't appeared, then with your two fingers on your left hand, hold down Control and Alt, or the CTRL and Alt key. These keys are located in the bottom row of keys on your keyboard on the left hand side. Keep these held down, and then with a finger on your right hand, tap the Delete key. Then, when you see this screen appear, Move your mouse down to the power symbol just down here, then left click once, then move your mouse over restart. It's very important that it's restart and not sleep or shut down, and then left click restart. The computer should restart, and then when it restarts, the desktop should appear. As you can see, uh, Windows is starting up again. It says, please wait and it's logging in and hopefully with any luck in a few moments the desktop should uh, be back. And there we go, the desktop is now loading up as normal and the icons are coming back. So there you go, there's a possible way of restoring your desktop if you end up with the black screen and the mouse pointer in Windows 10. As I say, it might not work in all occasions but certainly worth a try. Thanks for watching.